What's the difference between a hillbilly and a redneck? See, a hillbilly just means that you live in an isolated area between mountains and you don't get much of the outside world into your world. Now, in my experience and where I'm from, redneck associated more with anger, associated more with being mad at something. So a hillbilly can get his redneck on, but a hillbilly is not necessarily a redneck. Now, the world uses the word hillbilly and the word redneck in a lot of different ways. Usually as a put down. Now, hillbillies don't usually see it as a put down. We are hillbillies. That doesn't mean we're racist. We're not racist. That's not, hillbilly is not a term for racism. Redneck, on the other hand, has been occasionally interchanged with the term of racism. Rebel flags, things like that. Now, the whole rebel flag situation is a whole different question about whether it's, you know, whether the rednecks believe it to be racist or not. I don't know. Hillbillies don't generally fly rebel flags. It's not that type of thing. Now, because of the isolation and the lack of access to the outside world for a lot of years, hillbillies were considered ignorant. And we were a little slower uh, to adapt to the outside world because we didn't have as much access. When my dad grew up, because of these mountains, they only had two television channels. And really all they got to see was some news and some uh, cartoons maybe that were all staticked up. They had to, run a, uh, had to run a cable to the top of the mountain. It was pretty far up there. And then uh, they would put an antenna up there and they would get a, maybe a couple local channels. Now, they weren't good, they weren't good, and then it would constantly tear up. He would tell us about no. As, as I was a kid growing up, we had three or four channels but nothing really and we had a local newspaper that selectively printed some national news but we were pretty much isolated and a hillbilly is pretty happy to be isolated but the internet changed all that now one of the one of the the myths associated with hillbillies is that they're uneducated and stupid and that's just not true uh, we have a 99 percent high school graduation rate in my hometown and there are really really educated hillbillies walking around very highly educated hillbillies walking around. Uh, we have doctors and scientists and uh, rocket scientists and <laughs> you know Chuck Yeager. Uh, we we have some very very educated hillbillies. So difference between hillbilly and redneck. I think hillbilly is a term uh, for where we live and uh, how we're isolated. Redneck seems to be a more of a term of a, a way of life and. Uh, seems to be, for, for my view, associated with an attitude of uh, anger. Now, a hillbilly will just drive whatever he has, usually in an old truck. Now, a redneck is generally a jacked up truck uh, with some flags flying on it and, and flamboyant. A hillbilly is just, uh, usually just drives something that uh, just uh, convenient. A hillbilly's are proud. Now, we're not ashamed to be called hillbillies. As a matter of fact, we have a festival called Hillbilly Days. Uh, and in Hillbilly Days, everybody dresses up like the stereotypical hillbilly, which nobody really dresses that way. Okay. You may see a couple people with some uh, bibbed overalls on, and, and uh, but it's just a very uncommon sight. Nobody wears those floppy hats. <laughs> it's, it's not, uh, we're not stereotypical hillbillies. And I don't think stereotypical hillbillies really exist. But we don't care. We dress up as our stereotypical hillbillies and parade around Pikeville uh, once a year for a festival that we call Hillbilly Days. I don't intend to uh, offend any of my redneck friends out there, <laughs> but uh, that's just how we see the difference between redneck and hillbilly. Now there's a lot of definitions out there and there's a lot of people who see things different ways and want to use these words as put downs and, and insults. Uh, and you know, I, I suppose it all depends on the context. If you're trying to insult me, I guess if you're, no matter what you're calling me, if you're trying to insult me, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to like it. Uh, but the word itself, hillbilly, I don't take offense. Call me a redneck. I might, I might be a little offended at that because my, in my view, 
a redneck is, is a negative thing. Now, there's hillbillies, uh, rednecks, and crackers, but we'll get into crackers next time.